welcome to the book of Exodus. We're in Exodus chapter 32 and today verse 1. Now when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down from the mountain, the people assembled about Aaron and said to him, Come, make us a God who will go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us up from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. Now here's where everything really goes sideways. This is bad. This is bad. They just agree, agreed they would not worship idols. They'd keep the Ten Commandments. And uh, they haven't even really got the got it in the in the envelope yet, uh, and yet they're they're good, going to throw it all out. So uh, as for this Moses, you know Moses has disappeared. Remember they were used to deities they could see supposedly, uh, idols, the Nile River, God is in everything. Remember what they're used to, and God said, okay, we're building the sanctuary. This is the way we're doing it. They haven't got all that yet. Moses has got it, but Moses has gone up to get that. And there's no representation of, of gods. You know, why didn't God represent himself as a frog or something that they could say, hey, yeah, that's our God. So they've lost their minds and now they're going back and they're uh, going to gather around Aaron. This is kind of an intimidating situation. Another question here is the delay. It says that Moses delayed to come down. Well, did Moses really delay? I mean, when God sends for you and he doesn't say we're done yet, you know, you... You, you hang out, you stay, you stay by because, you know, it's yes, sir. It's I'm in the presence of God. This is uh, God should have my full attention, right? So the people expected he wouldn't be gone so long. But Moses, it's not Moses' issue. Moses isn't delaying. The people perceive a delay. So now they gather around Aaron and who's the, been, the leadership's been gone over to him while Moses is gone and uh, make us a God, make us a God, they say. So here they are, they're gathering around him and must be a very intimidating situation. Make us a representation of God. Maybe this God would be a pedestal for the true God. Uh, if we get into the commentary notes, we see that, you know, maybe they were making a, a pedestal. In any case, this was time for Aaron to give them a firm, a uh, firm, no, absolutely not. We just, we just talked about the Ten Commandments. Didn't you hear God say it with his own voice? Uh, but anyway, this is the situation that Aaron is in, and here's where we're going to find out what kind of a leader he is. And this, this uh, uh, Aaron is not made out of the same stuff as Moses. Let's look at it tomorrow morning and see what happens next.